Hi there! I'm Daphne from My Golden Thimble and today I'm going to show you how to make this beautiful witch hat with our free sewing pattern. This sewing pattern only has two pieces and requires only two seams to be put together, so it's a perfect project for beginners. And it's a pretty cool hat too because you can wear it pointy like this or bend it a little just like that, like I like to use it. So come with me and let's sew this beautiful witch hat together. We are going to start this project by placing the pattern over our felt. Choose the size you prefer either for children or adults and then cut your pieces. You will have two layers of the brim and then I cut one extra piece of this pattern out of heavyweight fusible interfacing and cut one half of an inch of the inner circle seam allowance and one quarter of an inch of the outer circle seam allowance. Place it on the wrong side of your fabric and then use your iron to fuse them together. To join the two layers of the brim I'm going to use hem tape strips around the whole circle. You can also use your hot glue gun or any other glue you prefer. In my case, I put strips around and then small squares on the empty spaces. Then, place the two pieces with the wrong size of the fabric together and press them well until they are both fused together. Ok, this is how far we are. I want you to see the effect on the brim that the heavyweight fusible interfacing is giving to your hat. You can of course use heavier felt or even add wiring to the outer edge if you want a stiffer effect. For me, this is just right to give the hat a little movement and natural curves. Now, fold the comb part of the hat in half and we are going to sew it at one half of an inch from the point to the base, starting from the base. This pattern already has the excess seam allowance fabric removed, so when you are about to reach the point, do not follow the edge of the fabric as a guide. Instead, keep sewing in a straight line until you reach the point of the hat. Here you can see how you have a narrower seam allowance on the point. This is going to allow us to turn the cone more easily and get a sharper point as a result. Press the seam allowances of the cone open and once you are done we are going to add the brim to the cone. To do that, first turn the cone inside out. I'm going to use one of my favorite tools, a point turner. This little guy has helped me to get sharp results whenever I need to turn points like this one here. And of course, I will leave the link on where to get this tool in the list of materials in the description of this video. Match the fabric edges of the cone and the brim with the help of some pins or sewing clips like I'm doing here. Try to be patient and do this in sections to make it easier for you. Finally, sew these two parts at one half of an inch with your sewing machine and the base of your hat will be almost ready. At this point you can leave the pieces like that or make other finishes, like using bias tape on the seams or like I will do here. As I'm not going to use this for a big party, I will just remove the middle of the seams in the head area. That way, the hat won't be too bulky or too uncomfortable when I put it on. And that's it, it's time to decorate your hat. You can put any ribbons or trims you like on your hat. I decided to go with a beautiful lace ribbon and a braided green one on top of it. Just a little knot to remember. Hot glue is incredibly strong with felt and very hard to remove, 
So before sticking anything to your hat, make sure that it is what you want. Otherwise, you will end up with an ugly section like mine here. And that was it, my friend. If you like this video and the free sewing pattern that I made for you, please remember to leave a comment on our website or in the comment box of this video. And don't forget to subscribe to my golden thimble to get the news on freebies and exciting sewing tutorials to come. Happy Halloween!